Let's do a theorem. According to this theorem, if we have a line segment AB and this line segment AB subtends equal angles at two points D and C which lie on the same side of AB and these angles are equal, then we have to prove here that points A, D, C, B lie on a circle. Let's see the approach for doing this. We know that there is always a circle possible which passes through three given non-collinear points. So if we take points A, D and B, we can always have a circle which passes through these three non-collinear points. We have to prove that the circle will also pass through point C. For doing this, we'll take help of contradiction method. Let us suppose that the circle does not pass through point C. If the circle does not pass through point C, let us suppose it passes through point C dash. So clearly, here there can be two cases. In case 1, point C will lie outside the circle and in case 2, point C will lie inside the circle. In the first case, point C dash lies on the circle and this point is also on AC. In the second case, we extend AC to AC dash so that AC meets the circle in point C dash. In both cases, Angle BC dash A, that means this angle here and this angle here are equal to angle ADB. So this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle here. As these angles lie in the same segment and we know angles lying in the same segment are equal. So these angles are equal in both cases. But it is given in this theorem that angles ADB and ACB are equal. So here also angles ADB and ACB will be equal. So if we call this as first and this as second. So from first and second we can have in first we have angle BC dash A is equal to ADB and from second we have angle ADB is equal to angle ACB so from first and second this implies that angle BC dash A is equal to angle ACB so we can see here that in both cases angle BC dash A that means this angle here and this angle here is equal to angle ACB that means this angle here and this angle here. So we can see in the first case that for triangle BCC dash this angle here is the exterior angle and this angle here is the opposite interior angle. Similarly here for triangle BC dash C this angle is the exterior angle and this is the opposite interior angle and we know under no circumstance exterior angle can be equal to opposite interior angle so this cannot be true hence our assumption is wrong and the circle passes through point C therefore the circle passes through point C and if it passes through point C, then we can say that the circle passes through points A, D, C and B. This is what we had to prove in the theorem. So for proving this theorem, we applied the property that in a circle, angles in same segment are equal.